What's up YouTube, this is Call from N221 here, and I'm here to answer your questions. In the background is some Modern Warfare 3, PPM9 gameplay, and uh, yeah, so. First question we got here, this is from a couple weeks ago. What other games do you play other than t Call of Duty and Total War by the gamer? Well, basically, I play lots of different games. I'm looking at my shelf right now, you know, I've got a little bit of Homefront, some Battlefield... Played a little bit of the Fallout series, L.A. Noir. Got Red Dead Redemption over there, and basically, you know, just a bunch of random games, like some shooter, some strategy, and yeah, okay. So the next question is by Master of Rawfulness, and he says, "How do I get my videos noticed on YouTube? I've got a couple of good Shogun videos. So I want to know how long you had to wait and what you did you get there." And he says he's a noob at YouTube. Well, the funny thing is, is that basically, I don't think I fully cracked that code of how to get your stuff on YouTube. Basically, for my campaigns, I've kind of set a we're saying campaign should be about 20 minutes long. So, campaign should be about 20 minutes long. You want your uh, online battles for Total War to be about 10 to 15 minutes. Otherwise, people can lose interest. And what I don't do enough is I don't add a lot of tags. Tags can really help. And I uh, just keep up your good work. Try to network with people. Basically, try to network with people. And try to do some dual commenters with people. Okay, next question. Mercenary Empire asks, Most favorite fraction from all the Total War games? Well, considering my name is French Guards, I've been to Paris, seen Napoleon's grave himself, I would say the French. You know, I like them in Medieval 2, I like them in Empire, I like them in Napoleon Total War. So yeah, so basically, French. And then the next one, what is your computer specs? Well, I have an FX gateway, it has a Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit, an i7 processor, and my graphics card is an NVIDIA GeForce GT 440 1.5 gigs. I got a terabyte hard drive, and uh, that, that's basically all the things I know about my computer specs. It does uh, run pretty nice, I think. Okay, favorite game of all time and what made you commentate? I would say Rome. My favorite game of all time would be Rome Total War and Call of Duty 4. My name's Call of Duty 4 Man 221. And, you know, those are like the two... Like, they're older. They came, both came out around the same time, I want to say. And, you know, those are just great great games and uh, what made me want to do LPs you know I'm sure a lot of commentators have that they were influenced by watching Prince of Macedon because he's been on YouTube for a very long time and uh, I used to watch that till 16 before there was even commentators you know we were watching that on 360 pixels had no idea what the heck HD was it was actually quite funny so yeah you know inspired by other people to do stuff and I, I hope I've actually inspired a couple people to make uh, Total War videos and uh, if you haven't put it in the comments, I inspired you. Okay, the next question is by Wildcat. What is your favorite and what is your least and favorite unit in favorite unit in Shogun 2 and why? Oh, I, I thought it was okay. So I would say my favorite unit is just the basic katana samurai. You know, they're just like the main. When I think of Shogun, I think of like samurai clashing with swords and katana. And, you know, Katana Samurai is just, like, my favorite unit. And, uh, well, what's my least favorite unit? I would probably say, like, unit that bugs me the most. Just, I would say, like, bow warrior monks, like, back when people just max them out. And especially on, on campaign, my uh, least favorite unit would be the spam of the bow samurai. I know, I kind of feel like archers missile troops are kind of cowardly like they're necessary but I'd rather just play without skirmishers as you've seen me do in some battles just not have any skirmishers but you know in other games besides Shogun you know not having any skirmishers basically means the death of you okay next comment uh, Camdo8744 asks why do you play strategy games well I feel like Call of Duty is good like Call of Duty gives you an instant satisfaction from getting a kill, getting a great gameplay. While strategy games are fulfilling, are very fulfilling, especially when you conquer a huge empire like my my British Empire, 
in Empire Total War. I mean, that makes you feel like you've actually accomplished something. It's not going to be instant satisfaction. Oh, that guy trying to drop shot me. But, you know, it just feels good over time. And sometimes, you know, you play you play an online game or a battle, and it, you get instant satisfaction that you just won. But, uh, I would say just, uh, also the involved thinking there. Like, with the diplomatic relations, what armies you're going to build, and kind of like the whole strategy part. And uh, City Dweller asked what's your favorite game of all time, where he said Rome Total War and Call of Duty 4. What's your favorite Minecraft texture pack? Now when I do play Minecraft, I really don't invest in texture packs at all. <laughs> I kind of play in the default, that's kind of like what I remembered about it and what I liked. So I would just say basic, you know, I don't really play Minecraft that much. But when I did use a texture pack, I, I liked Do Doku. That was a pretty nice texture pack. Do you have a cat, pet, uh, dog, cat, or pet? Asked Mongolfire123. Uh, I have no pets. You know, no cat or dog. I had some fish, and then uh, I decided to get rid of it and put a flat screen TV and put my Xbox in my room. So, got rid of the fish for that. <laughs> and I actually skipped over a question. Oh, actually, a couple. Lego Shadow Spartan as will you play a Rome Total War campaign? I've already done two campaigns for Rome Total War, the Sleuths and Empire campaign and the Julii. I've briefly started a campaign, a Skippy Eye campaign, and then I kind of gave up because I was having trouble with the, the capture was failing and stuff. But uh, in the future, I'm sure I'll go back to all the different games as I keep, as I've showed repeatedly, like doing several medieval I mean, I don't think there's been any new Medieval two to Total War 2 campaigns out, so that's why I like using. And then, uh, another question is, would you ever consider a troll match against someone using a spam army, either bows, ninja, cab, or fire cab? That would be funny. It basically depends on what kind of spam. I mean, the question is, you know, if you have, like, not always you're going to have a balanced thing. The spams I remember were the Naginata Warrior spams from Shogun. I'm because fire calves are so good too. I'm assuming he's talking about that. You know, fire cav. There's only you can only really have one, so I can't really see how you could uh, spam that. But if you spam bows, I mean, those drive me crazy. I probably would not spam bows on someone. I generally like to have like three or four. I guess it's spam would consider like seven or eight. And I actually missed someone on that paired missile. So yeah. So, the next question is, the sniper rises, asks, what's 5 plus 5? I need help with my homework. That's 10. <laughs> okay. Next question is, do you play any instruments? I play the drums, by the way. Says, Mr. Ha 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 Hatim. I would say no. I don't really have any musical talent at all. <laughs> so, I don't really play any instruments. He asks a follow-up question. What's your favorite instrument? So, I don't really play any instruments. <laughs> I think guitar and drums are pretty cool. I wish I had some talent. And, you know, I could probably maybe learn one of those. But, you know, it's like a language, kind of. You, you're some, some people are more natural at it than others. Okay. So, where are you going to go to college, says Hallberry129. Well, I'm not really at the college stage yet, you know, in a year or two. Probably about a year I'll be going to college. So I'm looking at lots of colleges. There's a lot of them on the plate, especially in America, around my area. So, you know, I'm still looking. You know, I kind of feel like I want to give you guys, let you guys answer questions, like answer the questions about that you're asking me. But I don't want to go completely into detail all about my life and stuff. So I'll answer most questions, but some of them like your name and what city you live in. I feel like that's too personal. Okay. So, the next question is from Benny V08. When will you upload the next episode of the Hojo Oda campaign co op with Fruit? That's on hold right now. We're both uh, kind of busy right now. So, uh, it's gonna. We're definitely gonna finish it. The question is, will Fall of the Samurai put on delay even more? Okay, just random 503 asks, what's your favorite Call of Duty weapon? My call, favorite Call of Duty weapon would be the Barrett 50 caliber. My name is Desert Sniper on Xbox Live, and I have a picture of that as my gamer tag. So, really like that. It's definitely my favorite sniper rifle of all time. Okay, what else do we have? Three questions on what's your favorite game ever. Already answered that. What's your favorite faction in Shogun 2: Total War by SD Bullet 4444? 
the cicada probably for their heavy cavalry. You know, I think just the red and black looks pretty awesome. You know, I don't really... I mean, the cavalry is very important to me also. And then I guess I would say the, the Shimizu because they basically... Their main thing is Katana Samurai, and that's one of my favorite units in the game. So obviously them. Okay, do you like any sports? And if, and if so, <laughs> what teams do you follow? I, I remember playing football in 8th grade. <laughs> so, I like football. <laughs> I cannot play football, but I like watching it, especially uh, the NFL. And uh, the teams I like for the NFL are the Redskins and the Patriots, so you can tell I hate the New York Giants, you know. So those are the teams I like, and uh, did it say, yeah, so those are the things. And then uh, if, if you're wondering about what sports I do, I actually am a fencer, so I mean, I was at, like, fencing is a great sport you know I kind of feel like it's a f one in the fighting category of like wrestling and boxing and you know you don't really watch that as like a sport like I you don't really like actually watch that on Sunday afternoon for three hours you know the main fencing thing is in the Olympics the next question is Rocky and he is asking when did you start playing Total War games and why well I had no idea about Total War until 2007 around August and my friend Alex actually introduced me to it so I started playing that you know I thought it was really fun it's kind of a noob lost a lot of online battles and then you know I still go back to that occasionally and play it so yeah five years I've been playing Total War the next one is from Fern Malazy have you ever played Happy Wheels and if you haven't you should it's free I actually play that earlier today I mean I really like the game I think it's kinda cool you, you can be creative and you know innovative and make your your own levels for that and plus it's pretty gory <laughs> so yeah okay the next question is AWOL909 asks you're gonna buy army arma arm A2 operation arrowhead and join my squad I've seen that game but I'm not really interested in it you know it's just like it kind of, Call of Duty kind of ruins other shooters for you. I've talked about this before. You basically compare every other shooter game to Call of Duty. That's just how it is, you know. You compare it to the game that you thought was really great. So when you compare a lot of like first-person shooters to Call of Duty, they're not, you know, as fast-paced, or you know, you don't feel they're as good. So that's gonna, you know, <laughs> be not very good there. So. I don't know, I've got so many shooter games I haven't completed, like Sniper Ghost Warriors, a shooter game, be Battlefield 3. I mean, I don't know, shooters, it's kind of like, why would you buy another strategy game? It's kind of like, certain strategy games and certain first person shooter games are just kind of better than all the rest, and you kind of got to realize, you know, okay you're still a loyal fan of that one series and you're gonna kinda stick with it even though you buy other ones and try them out well, it's good to try new games and then the next one is from Mongolfire and his question is are you gonna upload this video it's been about one and a half weeks so I said a couple weeks so I would say I made this like on yeah I made it tonight so it'll basically yeah it's gonna be up cuz I'm doing it right now <laughs> And someone asked, are you Native American? And I am not. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, then Robbie and Native American. That's pretty chill. Okay, so I think that's all the questions. As you can see, I use my Call of Duty videos. My Call of Duty videos, I want my capture card to basically talk about topics. So, I think you guys should put in the comments if you want. Because I have an, an SMG video that I want to talk about, you know... The difference between using an SMG, what situations you're going to win in every time, and you know how to play as an SMG player on Call of Duty. Kind of want to talk about that. You know, I feel like I have an extensive knowledge. You know, not just getting the PPM9 golden, but I also got the MP7 golden. So you know, I kind of know what it's like to just go bonsai, run in the middle, and get shot. So, kind of want to give some tips on that. Anyway, uh, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and if your question was answered. And if it wasn't, it's nothing personal. It just felt too personal to me to uh, answer. So, uh, yeah, this is Call Room 221, signing off. Hope you enjoyed.